Well, in the geothermal wonderland of Rotorua, they call it Rota Vegas around this joint, and they are going to party good and hard tonight. The Irish and Russian fans, you suspect. Yeah, there's they... been a wonderful atmosphere here the last couple of days. Uh, a sea of green and uh, plenty of Russians around there as well. It's been absolutely fantastic. A great atmosphere in Rotorua. The people of Rotorua have embraced the, the Irish and Russian people here as well. Sexton invites Fergus McFadden to put his head down and drive for the line. Quick ball from McFadden. Sexton tries to dummy his way over. Tony Buckley, head down, very difficult to stop. And he's there. Tony Buckley has slammed his way over for his second try. The bulk of Buckley is enough to surf in for Ireland's ninth try right at the end of this game. Yeah, he's done well, Buckley, there, and uh, probably hasn't carried as much as he would have liked tonight. Coming into this game, it was a great opportunity to get his hands on the ball more. Just, But he does really, really well here. He brushes off Fakatov and uh, he's very, very strong. It's one of his main strengths. He's such a powerful, strong guy, 137 kilos, and uh, does really, really well to reach out. Such a big man. Well, a little gloss on the game for the big Irish front rower. Only making his ninth start. Although he's got 25 caps now and really enjoying his lot. He's had his ups and downs in the scrum. But when ball is in hand in the loose, it's very difficult to stop that man at full pelt. Jonathan Sexton. Doesn't make a good contact with that. Well, Buckley won't mind. He's going to relive that one a few times this evening, I suspect. 